Greetings folks, Chris here, and welcome to yet another on Doing Proper Citizen Carry channel. It's good to finally be back. I have been gone for about a couple months now. I've had a few vacations, a few major household projects, some health concerns, yada yada yada, and now I'm finally back, thank God. Uh, this is the first video I've done in a couple months, so... And what we have in front of us here today, as you can see, is a J-Frame revolver. And in this case, the empty Smith & Wesson Model 642. Now, you're thinking about carrying a J-Frame revolver. Or you want to know what are the advantages or disadvantages behind carrying a J-Frame revolver. And that's what we're here to discuss. And I'm going to do this as quick as possible. This is the Smith & Wesson Model 642. And this is a typical... Uh, J-frame revolver that people have been carrying around. It chambers five rounds of 38 Special or 38 Special Plus P. It can take continuous use of 38 Special Plus P. And uh, the reason people carry these small J-frames like this or the Ruger LCR or I think the Taurus 805 or was it the 605? I can't remember. Now you want to know what the advantages and disadvantages are. If you're thinking about getting one of these, you can see that it's very small. My hand covers the entire handgun. Very small. And it'll fit in your front pocket of your pants. So if you've got a holster like this here, sticky holster, or one of those Remora holsters, and a few other people make them kind of like this, kind of soft material, and it fits the revolver just right. You can slip it in your front pocket. That is provided you're not one of those people that likes to wear ultra tight skinny jeans or Sergio Valente jeans and stuff like that. It'll fit in your pocket just so. And the advantage behind that is of course, ease of access and concealability. So that is one advantage. It is for that reason because a revolver like this is only 14 ounces that uh, a lot of police officers carry these as their backup guns. And a lot of regular carrying patriots carry these in their pockets too, uh, just because they're small, they're only 14 ounces uh, as their backup gun. Now me, for the summer, I carried this as my main handgun for the summer. It's just what I chose to carry. It was only 14 ounces. I had five rounds of 38 Special plus P. Now another advantage behind this is the fact that this is a long double action trigger pull, by the way. This is what's going to seem confusing to a lot of people because you're supposed to carry every gun in a holster. And that is true, right? But one advantage behind having a small J-frame revolver with a long, stiff double action trigger pull is that you can load this, just slide it into your front coat pocket as is. And if the situation arose that you would need to defend yourself and you want to keep your gun concealed, you could just put your hand in your front coat pocket and you can defend yourself through your coat. Now that has been done by people, not myself. But the reason it does work is because as you can see, this revolver does not have a hammer. So there's no close to get pinched into a hammer and keep it from actually accessing the firing pin. This is a very snag-free design. The only moving parts here is the cylinder, and that's not going to trap your clothes, or at least it shouldn't. So that is an advantage, just to tuck one of these in your front coat pocket. And it's pretty safe, you know, and if you're going to do that, I wouldn't put a whole bunch of stuff like car keys and pepper spray and stuff like that in your pocket to reduce the chance of something actually getting caught in your trigger guard and pulling the trigger. But uh, that being said, that's another use for a small J-frame revolver. And of course, the weight again. This is only 14 ounces, so the weight is another advantage. Now there are disadvantages, and one of the disadvantages are that it only does chamber five rounds of 38 Special or 38 Special Plus P. So you're going to be required to carry around a speed loader or something like that with extra rounds, and you want to practice actually loading one of these things quickly using dummy rounds, right? So here's a speed loader with dummy rounds. I don't mean to offend any dummies, but here we go. How these work. Uh, in theory, because a lot of times this part of the grip on a lot of people's revolvers kind of get in the way of speed loaders, and this one does with a speed loader. Uh, that's not enough to make me go ahead and start milling off this. 
But uh, speed loader works in theory that you put your rounds in, you twist this, and this thing lets your rounds go into the cylinder. You discard your speed strip, close your revolver. When you're closing your revolver, try to close your revolver by the crane. Mechanically, that's the way they say you should do it. And I think it takes stress off this area right here by closing it at that. Now, another piece of advice I can give you related to that is that we've all seen the movies where the good guy has his cylinder open and he's loading his revolver. He's in a hurry or whatever the deal is, right? And he slaps his cylinder into place. Notice I caught it, because I ain't gonna let it do it, but he slaps his cylinder into place like this. Don't do that with your revolvers. I mean, you can if you want to. I mean, you could do it a million times if you want to, because it's your revolver. So I'm not gonna be one of those people that's like, please don't do that to your revolver. It's up to you. You can do it if you want to, but it's just not good for the revolver. It wears away at parts and, uh, it can damage this, it can it can damage your crane and uh, bring things out of alignment, but that's up to you. I wouldn't do that though. You see it in the movies, it's cool in the movies, but it's generally not gonna be very cool for your revolver. And you're ready to go to work. Now that's one type of speed loader, but another type of speed loader are speed strips. So this is a speed strip. And as you can see, this one has room for five rounds, but there's other speed strips for your six round revolvers that you can also use for your five round revolvers. You can load it with all six and have an extra round ready. But how speed strips work is the rounds are in like this, facing up. There's a spot right here for sliding them in. You can see it's got a little slit in there. And boom, you've got all five rounds in your speed strip and you load your revolver two rounds at a time, spin your cylinder, two rounds at a time, spin your cylinder, and boom. So that's three motions to put in five rounds, but it's better than nothing. So that's two kinds of speed loader kind of options. You got these, which there's also carriers for uh, cylinder type speed loaders. As you can see, both your speed loaders will fit with their rounds in there close this down this here is an uncle Mike's and you slip it into your belt it's on the outside of your belt you can easily access your speed loader and there it is but the disadvantage behind the carriers is that they stand out that much that's a lot standing out so I think that would work good with a big shirt or a jacket or something but everybody and their dog will see it if you've got this on in the summertime I carry speed strips myself especially during the summer uh, during the winter time, I'll have a couple speed loaders in my pocket. There's all sorts of other types of holsters that you can get for your J-Frame revolver. And I think I showed you this one. And you can also slide this in your waistband. This here is a Phobos holster. That's for range use and stuff like that as far as I'm concerned. right? Because Phobos holsters, they kind of stand out kind of a bit. But it fits the revolvers just right. Here's one here. I got this here actually with one of my other revolvers that I had. Got it with the LCR, but uh, this nice looking leather holster right here. Uh, it's a lot more concealable than this here Phobos holster. And you can pull a shirt down over top of it. And I got this other holster here. This is a multi holster. And this fits perfectly in my belt. It holds snug against my body. A lot more snug than a lot of other holsters I've had. And I can pull a shirt down over top of this here multi holster. Index your draw just like a lot of other holsters. Now a disadvantage behind the small J-frame revolver is also that the sights are usually not that great. So that's another thing that a lot of people consider to be a disadvantage behind having a gun like this. But again, this isn't a long distance type of shooter. It's not intended to be. This is supposed to be a short distance belly gun to get you out of trouble or to defend your life on the spot. Most people in self-defense situations aren't going to have time to stare down sights anyway. Damn. Finally. <laughs> now I also got another accessory for this one in that I picked up a hold grip that I actually put on. Yeah, see here it is. That I actually put on for a couple seconds 
And then I took it off because I didn't like how big the grip actually was on the gun. It is about this much bigger than the regular grip. As you can see, I've got it lined up right where it should be right here. It feels excellent. All fingers are on this grip. It's a much more comfortable hold, but this is huge. During the winter, I might put this on, but during the summer, I'm gonna keep this thing as small as possible. And I really like the feel of this grip anyway. And as you can see, it's rubber even on the front. So, so it's up to you. If you want a little bit more grip, something like this here, Hogue Grip provides a lot more grip and it is very comfortable and nice soft rubber. So for your consideration, the small J-frame revolver. A lot of people carry them. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think there's more advantages than disadvantages behind the small J-frame revolver like this. But you may or may not find this to be something for you and it may not fit into your program. So for those of you who are thinking about whether or not you want to carry a small J-frame revolver, I showed you the options that you have. You've got methods of reloading. You've got the regular cylindrical speed strip and the regular strip type speed strips right here. Uh, there's plenty of holsters out there, of course, for a revolver like this, right? And you can fit them in your pocket. There's pocket holsters. We went over that. And uh, you can get different grips and stuff like that. So, you know, well, the world is your oyster. You've got lots of choices with a J-frame revolver, as well as the advantage of low weight and having some rounds on the ready right there when you need them. And I'm very glad you guys are watching. My name is Chris. My email address is scrolling across the bottom of the screen as we speak right now. That's 2improper at gmail.com. Write and I will answer you provided you're going to be polite about whatever it is you had to say. And if I've got the time. Thanks for watching, folks. God bless America. And keep on protecting your family, your country, yourself, your flag, and your flag's honor. And our American national culture. It is always the right thing to do.